Jiffy Jeff Jaworski now. Jiffy Jeff is a punch drunk fighter, very wealthy, very successful. He's got his own gym in Brooklyn, New York. This is the whole setup. He's got an infomercial on cable television where he gives you four free tips on how to become a professional fighter. And the commercial goes something like this. If you've ever wanted to be a professional fighter or just look like one, come on down to Jiffy Jeff's gym in New York City and learn how to become a professional fighter in eight short weeks. And now, here's Jiffy Jeff, the proprietor of Jiffy Jeff's gym, to give you four. That's right. He's going to give you four free tips on how to become a professional fighter in today's boxing world. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Jiffy Jeff. What was you gonna say? Oh yeah. Bah. Hello. Ha hi. Hi. Hello. Bah. Hello. Hello. Bah. Hello. 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 Oh, he hung up. Hello. Welcome to Jiffy Jeff's gym. I'll do papaya. Bah. Pear pliers. Bah. Pizza pie. Popeye the uh, Peter Piper pick. Bah. I own the place. I'm the proprietor. I own the place, and I would like to give you. Bah. Four free tips on how to become a professional fighter. Now, in order to do this, in order to become, in order of fries, a Big Mac, and Coke, where's it go? Ooh. What was I talking about? Oh, yeah. Bang. I got off on a tangent. In order to do this, to become a professional fighter, in order to do this, I said do this, I said do this, I said do this, do this. What am I doing this for? Whoa, watch that. I would like to give you five, four, five, six, Seven! Eight! Stop the fight! Stop the fight! He bit his ear off. I would like to give you five. Four double one. Let's start with double one. Training. To become a professional fighter, there's a lot of training involved, a lot of training, a lot of working out, a lot of training. Some guys take the train from their home into the city every day. That, of course, is a different type of training. That's a choo-choo train. Now, if you do take the choo-choo train, get a monthly ticket, get a monthly ticket. I have a... I have a... I... Hey. Hey. What are you pushing me for? Uh, anyway, it's a chew. It's a chew. You fool! You're gonna choke. It's a choo-choo train. Now, if you do take the choo-choo train, get a monthly ticket. Get a monthly ticket. I have a monthly ticket. I don't take the train, but it's such a bargain. Uh, I pull one anyway. Okay, that's number one training. Number two, two, two. Mention one. I missed the train. Went right by. Number two is a nickel nine noon. A knickknack patty whack. Give the dog a bump. Number two is a name game. Name Charlie, Charlie, Bob, Bolly, but I'm fine. Number two is the name Nick. That's what I'm trying to tell you. The name Nick is very important. If you do not have the good name Nick, name Nick, nickname, nickname, uh, nine times shoot, I could have had a dishwasher. Uh, you need a good nickname. Let's talk about nicknames in boxing, shall we? Cooney Jerry, Jerry Cooney. They call him Gentleman Jerry. Gentle, gentlemen, gentlemen, start your engines. Uh, Hagler. Marvelous Marvin Hagler. Remember him? They call him Marvelous. You know what I call him Marvelous? Because he looks good. So that's what I call him that. And then, of course, there was Boom Boom Mancini. Remember Boom Boom Mancini? They call him Boom Boom Mancini because Henry Mancini was already taken. <laughs> a joke. They call him Boom Boom Mancini because that's what it sounds like when he hits you. You're in the ring with him. It sounds just like that. Boom. Boom. Boom Mancini. So that's what they call him. That. <laughs> now I happen to have I I J K L M N O Susanna. Oh, don't you cry for me. I happen to have a very good nickname. My nickname is Jiffy. That's my nickname. Jiffy Jeff. Jiffy Jeff. 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 What? 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 I'm oh, sorry, I thought I heard somebody calling me. Anyway, that is my nickname, Jiffy Jeff. Jeff, what? What? Okay, the guys call me over there. You probably look, probably look, probably look, 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 look. Made you look, made you look. Probably looking at me. You probably think that I don't know nothing about the fight game. Wrong! Circle gets the square. Whoopi Goldberg the block, please. I had quite a bit of training, ladies and gentlemen. I need to repeat it very quickly. You need alto training. If you do not have alto, 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 alto. Oh, a lot, a lot of training. I'm sorry. I spelled that wrong. The letters got all too.
shoveled in my head. You need a lot of training. I myself, I had quite a few professional fights. I had six professional fights, of which I lost uh, 11. But that's all behind me now. Take a look. Oh, somebody took it. Don't get excited. I get paid very well. I'm a sparring partner. I get in the ring with a $5 shot, $5 shot. Every time the guy hits me, boom, we get $5. So if a guy hits me 10 times at $5, what is that? Bang. $35? Taxes, taxes. Anyway, I remember one time I'm in the ring with this guy. We're both in the ring. The boxing ring, in the ring, in the ring, in the ring. Answer the phone! Anyway, I'm in there. I remember this guy's hitting me. He's hitting me. He's hitting me. I count my money. $5, $5. Good pay. All of a sudden, I stopped hitting me. He stopped hitting me. Now, I couldn't see him because I'm covered up like this. But I'm thinking inside my head, what are two things? Either he went home or he ran out of money. I don't know which, so I figured I'd better take a look. I dropped my gloves down. And there he is, standing in front of me doing this. Now, the smart thing for me to do at that time would have been to put my gloves back up to block the shot that was coming in. But I didn't do that. I didn't do that. Because, 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 because I was just as interested as everybody else around the ring to see what the heck this was. I moved it closer. The guy hit me. Pow! My head spun around. My knees buckled. I'm trying to get the buckle open. I don't know how my pants got down there. Pow! He hit me again. I went right down, and I remember my face hit the floor. My face hit the canvas, which was weird because I landed on my back. <laughs> okay, let's review the four free tips. Real quick, here we go. Four free tips, all four. Number one, training. Number two, you need a good nickname. Number three, always speckle before you paint. And those four things are very important to become a professional fighter. If you have any questions, give me a call. I'm at the gym. The phone number here is 555-1212. That number, once again, in case you missed it, 724-8K apostrophe 6 at AOL.com. And that's for me, Jiffy Jeff. 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 What? What? What?